Fuck, I gotta pack and do this vlog. Oh fuck, I forgot to do the intro. Hey guys, today we're going to River Schenectady, New York for a one day, 50k guaranteed, $600 entry tournament. It's mad fucking early, let's go! All right, three hour train ride. So if I ever sleep, we're going to Toronto, so I better set an alarm to wake up and before then. Two hours later. Please treat these restrooms like you plan on using them again. There's nothing we can do about them other than lock them out. So we're at Albany. I guess there's a big problem when they swap the engine or some shit that people take shits in non-flushing toilets because they've warned us like 20 times. No shitting in the toilet on Amtrak. Also, ladies and gentlemen, the cafe will not reopen. So three hours later, we made it. It says it's like 0.8 miles, but it's raining, so I'll probably try to get a cab. Taking a train for three and a half hours where you could do other shit and sleep and be on the phone is so much better than driving two and a half hours to Atlantic City, so hopefully this is good. It's raining, and we're diva E, so we're taking a fucking Uber. Here we go! Some tingles are in effect, guys. Some, some D-Gen tingles are in effect. Thank you, man. Have a nice All right, so it's Sunday, so I gotta do the Mush pregame show before before we go in. I didn't roll a seven the entire game to move the router one fucking time. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the mushiest show in NFL history. I'm Steve Stevens. We're in Rivers, so we're on the road today. And these picks are so bad, we should be selling them. 17 and 33 against the spread. He likes Cleveland laying the points. Dallas getting the points. Under in the Green Bay San Francisco game. Over in the Tampa Bay Atlanta game. God knows why he decided to build two roads on that turn. I guess this is the registration line. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. Alright, so we're in our seat. We're waiting for this table to open. A few moments later. Come on, base, queen. Verse coming. Yeah, 7K, he made it. Are you really thinking? Yeah. He goes, yeah. are you really thinking? Eventually. All right, first break, we got 50K, you start with 40K. All right, we're on the first break, you start with 40K, we got like 50K. Uh, it's nice here, it's small. I don't know, I'm trying to be on the low. I have PTSD from Morgata band, so I, we only played like two levels. And uh, and it's been fun, and one dude is opening to 9X, I think, standard, so good good players. I got a peak Hulk ADE, be right back. So it's only like 12 o'clock, but since being up since 5.30, it feels like it's so late, like football didn't even start yet. Now hopefully we get this pizza before break. I need to get food, man. And we're big blind next. Maybe we'll try the Dentali angle shoot when we get back to the table and be like, oh, I swore I was big blind last hand. Maybe we'll give that, give that old scale angle a try. Not calling him a scale, but. All right, we're back. We scarf pizza. I don't have it in me to do the angle. I was gonna, I was gonna be like, oh, I thought I was big blind, big blind last hand before break. Joking, like I was joking about shooting that angle. I don't have it in me. So anyway. Good for your nines are no good. Good for or whatever. Your six sevens. Yeah, I had a pair. They have Sunday ticket. It's so sick. I'm so used to watching Red Zone. This is awesome. This is getting my degen blood boiling. For high hand here, they give out pressure cookers. It's pretty cool. Like every half hour, there's a pressure cooker given out. Two hours later. 
All right, so nearly the end of re-entries. That may look like it showed, but that's an improved chunky flopper chip cock. We have 67K going, going to break. Exactly average chip stack. 92 left out of 155 entered. I'm gonna get in trouble for filming, but we got 67K. There was a hand where under the gun opened, we're plus two with queens. We just flat. At 600, 1200, he makes it 36. We just flat with queens. Button calls, three way to a flop. It's queen four two. Dude leads 6K, I call. Other guy folds. The turn he just jams for my 22K. Effective, he has kings, we have queens. We hold, we double. They must really be doing an oven giveaway because everyone is uh, walking around with these pressure cookers and people are beasting on the line for the uh, promo swipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch What's the up, channel all the time. Thanks, Thanks man. man. I'm, I'm like stealth PTSD from Corgata Band. But this is the book. This is sports book. This is Brian. So this break, I've seen three pressure cookers and two people recognize me. Said what up, what up, upstate New York fam. That's where we are, by the way. For those of you not from here, New York is a big state and we're up high in it. And I didn't even know sports betting was legal here, but apparently it is. So good for us. Good for New York. We back. A few moments later. Moving tables. There's 77 something. 70 ish people left. 16 get paid. First is 23K. We've lost chips since we last updated. Lost the flip with nines versus kings. It's not a flip, just a donk. And that's it. funny hand that I didn't recap was that with 26 big blinds it folds to us in the small blind and we open jam pocket twos and this kid in the big blind calls with King Jack off and we hold he, but he tells his girlfriend one hour later all right so we busted I think I fucked up at the end pretty bad um, I had ace king one hand there was a under the gun limped and then I raised but then there were like three callers I didn't make it big enough and uh and the flop was 8-8 eight, eight jack. I made it like 13K, or I don't fucking know the numbers, but it checked through on the flop. The turn was a rag. And then uh, I went check, do bet 11K into a pot of like 45K. So I called with Ace King out of my like 100K stack. Then it, then this dude next to me called. And then, and then the other dude min raised to 25K. And he went fold, I called. And then the other dude folded. Then the river was a third eight. So the board was like eight, 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 jack, something. He bet 20K and I fucking called because I thought he looked like he was bluffing. That's dumb reasoning. Then we made a couple good squeeze plays like ace four off in a multi-way limp pot. We jammed like 35K after there were three limpers of 2,500. Um, we jammed another time in the big blind, squeezed, everyone folded. Then, then, then we have ace four suited in the cutoff, 40, 8k or something at 2500 big blind whatever the low jack open a 6k high jack called we jam everyone folds and then when the guy is thinking i'm like i'll give you a read i'm indifferent which is so fucking dumb i just should keep my mouth shut and he called and he had ace 10 and he won so now we're gonna play some video poker some depression rebate and watch the end of the end of the one o'clock games look at this setup i hope you could see over them I don't know, but it's pretty cool. And then maybe dip, check, look up the train schedule. I think it's all I bet in the game. We're such sick fucks, especially on Sunday in football season. All right, what are we gonna play? Two dollars, we're going big because we're a degen pissed. Double, double bonus. I don't know how the payouts here. Nine, five, that's bad, but we are tilted. We don't give fucks right now. So right now it's 4.30, I'm ready to go home. The next train is not till 5.18 and the train station is like five minutes away. I just went live with you guys, lost another 200. So I lost 400 plus six, down 1K minus some staking. So I'm down like 900. Um, I'd say my budget's 1K, I have like another 100 to blow, but that's really me rationalizing my head just because I'm stuck here. Just like the movie Casino when he makes that Asian guy's plane stop working. But we got him back. I had our pilot tell him the plane was on the fritz until he dropped his winnings back and gave up a million of his own cash. They can't bet small for long. I'm fucked. Sitting here in a casino, it's raining. I gotta play something. Maybe I'll try craps if they have it. I loved that last time. I can't film. Sorta of just for me. Sorta of selfish to play this on the vlog until I get a spy cam, but what are you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do, bro? So we bought in craps for 200 and this is what we have out. 
Six. We're leaving. We're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. A minus $1,100 day. I, I can't think of a, of a, I wanna say like, but, well, at least, but I could make videos for cheaper, I think. And I could get, well, dude, whatever, I'm a degenerate. You know what? Bro, suck a dick. Who are you to question my gambling habits? So, I gotta say I did have fun, even though I lost, but the thing is, if I were a gambling man, I would say this is definitely gonna be in one of the bottom 10 fucking vlogs. The jokes were not good. I was a little tired. I lost everything. Who knows? Maybe this is what you people want, but you know what? I'm gonna have to start putting an ad every fucking 10 seconds if this is how how I'm gonna run. I'm gonna be victim Joey here and say, God, they never fucking give me shit. I've lost that right though, because of the Colossus for about uh, 10 years. So, now nah, that place is cool, man. And that's the lesson here. Don't ever kill yourself or others. There's a fucking ramble that will be edited out. I just lost $1,100. And I'm fucking walking to the train station to save $7 on an Uber. Yo, how the fuck can I use making the vlog better as a rationalization to play that extra 200 on craps when I didn't fucking film it? Like, that doesn't make the video better. You guys just seeing me go, I'm gonna play craps. And then at the end, just be like, oh, I lost craps. So I don't know what, what I'm left with other than just pure de degen instincts as a, as a reason. So thank you guys for watching. Please share, please subscribe. Do all that shit.